Hello, DeSoto. This is Mayor McCowan at the DeSoto Public Library, and I would like to welcome all our young readers to this special story time featuring some of my good friends reading stories to engage and empower. This year, the Mayor's Summer Reading Club theme is Imagine Your Story, and I would like to challenge you to imagine what is your story? How will you tell it? Through words, through art, through action? Let us inspire you with these stories. Hi, my name is DeAndre Weaver. I'm the superintendent of DeSoto ISD. Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion by Alex Smith. This is Little Red. Today, she is going to be gobbled up by a lion. This is the lion. Well, that's what he thinks he is going, that is going to happen tomorrow. One hot morning, Auntie Rosie woke up covered in spots. There was only one thing for them, spot medicine. Ring, ring, ring. Oh dear, oh dear, said Little Red when she heard the news. I'll come right away. So she put some spot medicine in her basket and waved goodbye to her daddy. It was a long way to Auntie Rosie's house. Little Red walked under the giraffes, over the sleepy crocodiles, and past the chattering monkey. She crept around the termite mounds and under the leaping gazelles. Then she caught a ride on an elephant, wiggled her way around the hippos and warthogs, and waved hello to the meerkats. Then she sat down in the shade of a shady tree, and that's when the lion arrived, the very Oh, hello, purred the lion. Where are you going? To visit my auntie who is covered in spots, said Little Red. In the time it took for his tummy to rumble, the very hungry lion had cooked up a very naughty plan. My very clever plan, sneak off to Auntie Rosie's house, number two, hide in her cabinet, number three, Dress up as Auntie Rosie. Number four, wait for a bit. Number five, jump up and eat Little Red. Number six, eat Auntie Rosie for dessert. Well done. You are a very clever lion. Oh my God, what is he doing? And he rushed off to put his plan into action. Dun, dun, dun. When he arrived, the very hungry lion stuffed Auntie Rosie in a cabinet and locked the door. Then he squeezed himself into one of her nightgowns and covered himself all over in spots. Of course, when Little Red arrived, she realized right away that it wasn't Auntie Rosie sitting in the bed. She quickly looked around and spotted her auntie peeking through a gap in the cabinet. Then Little Red decided that she was going to teach the naughty lion a lesson. Mm -hmm. cried Little Red. What tangled hair you have! And before the very hungry lion could even lick his lips, Little Red had brushed and combed and twisted and braided until the lion had a lovely new look. This had not been a part of the lion's plan. So... He opened his mouth wide. Disgusting! shouted Little Red. What gigantic, grimy teeth you have, auntie. And Little Red made the very hungry lion brush, brush, brush his teeth until they sparkled. Oh, auntie, sighed Little Red, what an old nightgown you are wearing. And before the very hungry lion knew it, Little Red had found a much prettier dress for him to wear. This had not 
been a part of the Lions planning her. Stop! yelled the lion. I am a very hungry lion, and my tummy is grumbling. Little Red pointed her finger. Well, trying to eat children and aunties is very naughty. If you were hungry, all you had to do was ask for some food. The very hung hungry lion let Auntie Rosie out of the cabinet and said sorry ever so politely. Little Red gave Auntie Rosie the spot medicine, which worked immediately. Then the three of them gobbled up a whole basket of donuts together. The lion had five. Hungry, hungry lion. Soon it was beginning to get dark, so the lion walked all the way back home with Little Red on his very best behavior. He promised to never, ever, 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 ever try to eat another auntie or any children. But he might be tempted to eat daddy. No, bad kitty. The end. Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion, one of my favorite books to read with my two girls uh, at bedtime. Uh, and it is a um, it is a new spin on a classic fairy tale uh, that has representation for children that look like my girls. Uh, and that talks about a place filled with animals like giraffes and gazelles and meerkats. Um, it is one of our favorite books to read. And also teaches them lessons that you don't have to be cunning or sly or slick to get what you want. All you have to do is ask and be kind. And that when people uh, do things that are divisive and hurtful to other people, they never ever win. And I never want our children uh, to ever have to feel like they have to um, be dishonest to win. And that's what this tells them uh, in a very cute way. Thank you so much for listening and joining me for that great story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and look forward to another special story time with the mayor and friends. Keep up that reading at home and remember to log in your daily reading time to win free books and gift cards from the DeSoto Public Library.